Oh my god, it is absolutely cooking. What does it say? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 24 degrees and it's uh, 3 past 8. That's my camera sat up, don't ask me if it's illegal. Oh my god, it is absolutely sweltering. Uh, if you are new to the channel, my name is Glenn Cairns. I do drone stuff, I do GoPro stuff. I like to capture sunrises and sunsets and um, if you're from Aberdeen, if you're from Scotland or somewhere around the world, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. I'm nearly at a thousand subscribers and I've been doing this for under a year, so welcome. Now, the point of this video, I am getting a sunset of uh, Castlegate, uh, which is on Union Street, which is Aberdeen City's High Street. Um, the sun is just starting to go down now. Um, it says it's set at about 9 o'clock. I, th I think it's going to be a bit too late to actually catch the sun as it's going down, but um, I'm not fast. I'm kind of wanting a nice sky. Um, just looking up there, we're getting some clouds. It'd be nice to get some really high clouds just to get that sort of pinky look. Um, just to get that pinky look, but I don't think we're going to get that today. Um, you never know. We're going to get a nice sunset anyway, so see what like, get a photo, get some nice videos. Um, you maybe saw an intro that I just done there. Was it nice? <laughs> I'll maybe get a few shots from my TikTok as well, my Instagram reels. And obviously I'll get some photos from my website to sell. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, so see you when I'm next out my car. The price you pay when you put a suction cup on a curve on a bit of glass always remember it's clean and it's flat there you go so and if you're wondering what that drone shot was yes I had to get out of my car uh, get the drone up got it in spotlight to track my car which is the first time I've ever done that just to make the video look good <laughs> there's not a production team here filming these videos it's all me myself and I so we're about it's about 20 minutes to 9 uh, we, we, we will miss the sunset, but I mean, we, we shouldn't miss the nice sky and that, so um, yeah, we'll uh, see we get on. Open up, that's okay, it's looking really bonny, um, given the sun is facing in the opposite direction, so I am looking forward to seeing how that looks. So after some dodgy parking, we finally made it here. We are in Castlegate. Four seagulls. It's looking quite bonny coming in there. Even look at that little tunnel there, it's looking a bit pink. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the drone up. Seen some of the headlights in Union Street as well, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna hesitate, I'm just gonna get the drone up. Hopefully quite discreet as well. A few busy people here. <laughs> so hopefully there's uh, no distractions. So uh, yeah, let's just get her up. So we're talking about seagull. Right, I'm not gonna hesitate. This video could be a laugh. There's quite a lot of people kicking it out, but keeping a distance. It's, uh, it's quite a quiet drone, so it shouldn't cost too much attention, but I'm sure a GoPro and a mic stand with a bright light will. will. It's on. The thing is, like when you're looking at the camera as well, and you've got a light point at me, like this light mod is pretty bright. Um, whatever you're looking at, you can't really see, so I'm, I'm not really gonna look at this for too long. Um, this might be a short flight, because there's quite a lot of seagulls as well, but if they're not annoyed, anything like that, they may be quite a successful one, so who knows. 
the idea is just to get up as, as quickly as you can. Um, because takeoff is probably the most distracting, loudest point of it, and then once it's up, you're fine. So, uh, once we're connected, let's start screen recording. There we go, that's good. Let's get the exposure up a bit. So we've only got 16 minutes left. It's good to use it. Let's go with that, let's get in focus. Start recording. Scare up. And there we go. We are up. And already that looks pretty stunning. That is bonny. Look at the lights, a bit of jutter there. What's it look like down here? Oh, there's a castle. <laughs> That's what we're after. So let's take her back a bit. Let's get above this building here, so we know now we're not going to crash into anything. Okay. Uh, it's annoying, I was going to hope we get a bit more cloud, but it doesn't look like we will. Well, anyway, there's Castle Gate. And I just went lower. I don't want to go any lower than that. So let's see, yes, that's fine. There's the harbour there. Although it does look absolutely stunning. So I'm losing signal because I'm not in my visual line of sight. As you can see at the top, the signal is weak. So flying in an environment like this when there's like, it's not busy, but there is public picking about, uh, is a little bit stressful. So I'm just gonna position my camera probably like over here a bit so it picks up better signal which it does. I'm going to do a little pivot here, not pivot but like a, a wee pan like that. But I'm going to do it the opposite way to where the sun is. So you can see the harbour there which looks really nice and when when you colour grade that'll look lovely. Um, probably like what I'm going to show you right now. So let's kind of get in a better position here. Okay. This probably won't be a good TikTok but um, get her up so I'm not hitting that building. Although that does look lovely, doesn't it? So, 80% looking good. So, that's the, the battery looking bad. Let's do a wee pan now. Actually, let's try this out. Um, try Spotlight. It just went green there, and I did not want that to happen. Almost like the, the white balance changed a bit. Let's get the shutter speed up a bit and then do that pan. Let's get in focus. Well, the harbour just looks so um, clear. Here we go. Now, the colour on my screen is going a different colour, but I'm noticing the remote control signal is going a bit, so I'm assuming it's just that. It's not actually going to interpret the actual footage on the SD card. That was lovely. I wonder if I can clip this and use this on Twitter, that's what I'm thinking. Clock's lit up, looks lovely. Union Street's half lit up. Got the hills in the background, the skies have been pretty. This is lovely, it's a really nice shot. Maybe I will use a TikTok for this. Castle gets going out the center. There's Brimming Hill in the background. Beautiful. Seagulls. Same weak antenna, it's the way lose, but I'm coming back in. So it's no bad. I'm back in it. Could try that as a TikTok. The purpose of this is to get a photo, which I could actually try just now, actually. Let's get that shutter speed up. It's the wrong way. I actually thought the sunset would be a lot more central. If I'd done my homework, I probably would have knew that, but. Um, okay, well, we need one a single, we're wanting a, a bracketing shot. Um, let's get the shot speed up a bit. Cool, so that's way too blue for me. Let's get up to this. Yeah, that'll be me. Push past a bit, push it. 
and we always signal them, watch this. How was that for a shot, eh? Just took a quick photo of it. So again, I'm just going to check. I'm not going to hit that building, no. Could maybe just go a little bit higher, which I'll do. So I know I'm going to hit that. Always be aware, just because the camera, just because the drone has a camera, it doesn't mean you can see behind you. That's what your eyes are for. Um, visual line of sight and all that stuff. So let's tear up nicely just here. Okay, I can see a car in that picture. I can hear it behind me. It's probably here as well. Ah, it's the train past me. <laughs> I'm actually going to show you me using my fingers here. So that moves right and that yaws the camera that way and that way, okay? So I'm actually going to push that one that way and that one that way. So I am turning right, but yet I'm, I'm yawing at the same time. So let's do that just now. So, and the main objective is to keep the castle in the middle of the frame, which is harder in portrait mode. And I'm going to go a little bit faster. So I'll be able to color grade that. The sky doesn't look too overexposed. Perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's not jolty. And the biggest challenge here is keeping your, your sticks still, which doesn't sound too hard, but trust me it is. Now I would have liked if there was a bit more motors coming down Union Street, but I'm not sure everything. I'm going to speed up a little bit here. A bit of colour grade won't go on this here. This is like the nice shot here when you see the boats and the sea, the harbour. That's what you want to see here. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks lovely. That's a photo in itself, actually, I think. Who's the car? It's a van. I love that. That just sums up Aberdeen, doesn't it? That's real. So, I'm actually, I want to see what the, the photo... It's actually not as nice as sunset as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> this is annoying, because it's... It's ten past nine, I could be in my house right now, but... I can't ask for anything. I do one from here, this perspective. I don't think we have much value in it, but... Probably, actually, if we'd done it like this, maybe get more value. And it looks really dark on my monitor, but... I'm kind of prioritising the sky to be exposed, but... I'm going to bring it down to see how it looks with that. I can maybe get a quarter of a second exposure. See what like. Last night it was lovely, it was like really like nice clouds, almost got like a red hour type thing, which did look lovely. What's it like with a two set? See, I don't have my ND filters yet, and that one's a bit of an issue right now. It's Jessup's. Let me down. Yeah, I'll find another one here. Um, what was I going to try? Aye, 360 photo. There goes the bell. I'm going into panoramic mode. Right, and I want as much to be exposed as I can because I probably won't be able to save it. So I'm kind of. Oh, that is lovely. If there's a bit more lit up, I'd maybe get away with that. But I think I'm going to do 60. Do 60 into the gear. Try it. I'll actually fix the white balance a bit. Okay. I do think. Many a night I've had here in Union Street, and here I am flying my drone. Blue hour, so it seems. Doesn't know we're gonna get a red one. 
I kind of miss gold now, didn't I? Yeah, maybe it's the best we're gonna get, unfortunately. Well, there you go. Uh, it wasn't the best sunset in the world, but we got something. Uh, I'll take that. I got a couple of good photos. Hopefully get a couple of sales at them as well. Hopefully people like them. Some good video content. So uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and get ready for more videos. Thank you.